my name is Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. I make videos every week about CRPS and the information related to it. So make sure to subscribe below. Okay, today's video is the 10 most common symptoms that go along with CRPS. And I know these are not all of the symptoms because there are so many but these are just some of them. So let's get right into it. Okay, the top symptom obviously is pain. Pain is the most dominant symptom of this condition. That's probably why they call it complex regional pain syndrome. Pain is usually experienced right away and is in proportionate to the injury that you had. The next symptom is hypersensitivity and this could just be from somebody touching your limb your clothes touching your affected limb the wind blowing on your affected limb hey okay, another common symptom is color change and this is when your affected area is like a bluish purple red color and gets very discolored compared to the other areas of your body this can happen every day it could happen just during pain flares it could happen right now and be gone in five minutes and then back in an hour and gone two minutes later it's just so unpredictable the third most common symptom is a burning or freezing feeling and this is something that makes crps sort of unique in from other conditions is that uh, freezing or burning feeling sensation that you get in your affected limb. For me, the burning feeling is, I, I always feel like I just maybe burned my arm in the oven. Like, you know, that feeling where you burn it on a pan, but this is just nonstop. With the burning or freezing, once your limb does get like that, sometimes it can be really difficult to get it back under control. For example, if your limb starts freezing cold, and I know mine can get that way easily if it's even the slightest, coolest temperature out, um, and I go outside with my limb uncovered, it will get cold really easily and then it's very difficult to get it warm back up. Usually what I'll have to do is get the heating pad out to get the temperature back to normal. The fourth on my list are muscle spasms and these can really happen anywhere. I've gotten them on my eyelid for, had one on my eyelid for month, six months that didn't go away. So, okay, the fifth most common symptom is uh, exasperated injuries and what I mean by this is once you have CRPS and you have a future injury it can be a lot more painful than if you did not have CRPS so for example maybe you cut your finger in the kitchen it may take a lot longer to heal it might be a lot more painful it could get infected part of CRPS is an autoimmune disease and so our immune system is autoimmune system is not quite wired like it once was sometimes i just wish that i could be the bubble boy you know like live in that big bubble like oh oh maybe not but okay number six on my list is inflammation inflammation is definitely a prominent symptom in the beginning and sort of comes and goes throughout crps it can really occur when you have pain flares or I notice that my limbs get swollen with uh, extra use. So my ankle, if I'm out walking for a considerable amount of time, will tend to get more swollen throughout the day. Okay, number seven on my list is joint stiffness. And this especially happens after you may have been at rest for a while, maybe you've taken a nap or slept and you're just getting out of bed in the morning, it can be really difficult to get your ankles moving. Joint stiffness is definitely something that comes along with CRPS. That's why it's really important that we keep moving every day. Number eight is increased sweating. And this may happen for some of you or not all of you, but you may notice that your affected limb gets really clammy and sweaty easily. You also may just get overheated and sweaty just in general for doing nothing. You could just be 
putting some dishes away and break out in a sweat like you thought you maybe have just finished a 5K marathon. No, you have CRPS. Number nine is lack of energy. And this is not only because of CRPS, but also because of the medications that go along with it can leave you feeling zapped. You will probably need to take a nap and that's okay. Okay, take a nap. Take a nap. But I'm gonna take a nap after this video, okay? It's very, very common with people with CRPS to get really tired, a lot more tired than you would have normally, so don't feel bad about taking a little rest. Last on my list is urinary incontinence. That feel like you have a urinary tract infection or you have difficulties holding it. So before you run out and get yourself some diapers, there are medications that will help with this. So see your urologist just to rule out anything else is going on, but that is very common. So if you're experiencing something like that, it may be related to your CRPS. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. I make new videos every week. I'd love to have you as part of my community, so make sure to subscribe below and click on the bell to be notified of when I make the next video. Till then, take care.